Alrighty, here we are. Another week of indoor football has come and gone. And now, we're on to the semifinals. In the IFL, we're on to the semifinals. And who all made it? Well, four teams I picked correctly made it to the semifinals. Now, let's go over all these games real quick before we talk about some other things here. Um, game that was just played about, I don't know, like 20 to 30 minutes ago. The Rattlers of Arizona and the Sioux Falls Storm was a pretty. Rattlers put up 69 points. Nice. On the Sioux Falls Storm. Put them out the playoffs. Curtis Riggs, you gotta be feeling He's got to be feeling something right now. He's got to be feeling something. And it just didn't work out the whole Tommy Armstrong, Lorenzo Neal thing. It didn't work out very well. You know, Drew Powell went off and lit up Sioux Falls defense. So, sad to say, Sioux Falls is out. Um, Bismarck, also out of the playoffs. They got whooped by the Massachusetts Pirates. They got whooped. I mean, what, what can you say? What, you know, I mean, what can you really say? It is what it is. It was probably expected, and I mean, I just, I just, there wasn't really much to say about this game. But my Frisco Fighters, who I don't, again, I still do not have them picked as the United Bowl champion. I do not think they will have what it takes to make it to the United Bowl. They barely get past the Spokane Shock. Not a good look there. Not a good look to just barely get past the Shock. And I mean, they. Shock had players come back like Charles McCall and Monte Sapp Lynch. I mean, they had players come back, so the game was a little bit more competitive. But ultimately, Frisco moves on. They will be on the road next week. And last but not least, Duke City got a big time walk off PAT victory against the Iowa Barnstormers 34 33. Perfection in my pick so far. So, what are these matchups going to be next week? We know that one game will be on stadium, and that game will be the Massachusetts Frisco game. Massachusetts will be hosting the Frisco Frisco Fighters in next week's semifinal because Arizona has confirmed they confirmed it during the broadcast that their semifinal game will be on Sunday against Duke City. So, it's going to be an interesting two semifinal games. It could be leading up to a heavyweight bout in the United Bowl on September the 12th. And yes, that has been confirmed as well. So, what else has been confirmed in the, in the scene of indoor football, in the indoor football league? Well, I'll tell you in a couple seconds here. If I can get, you know, if, I, if, if you don't already. Know if you live in Vegas, you might know. So, we have confirmed that the new Las Vegas team will be called the Nighthawks, and it kind of looked like the Iowa Barnstormer logos just a little bit, you know, not too much plagiarism, just a little bit of plagiarism there. It is what it is with that. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that at all. So, I mean, it is what it is with that. I mean, can, can, can you blame can you blame me for, you know, just... I mean, can you blame a lot of people for thinking that it looks like the Iowa Barnstormers? Who knows? Who knows how things will go with the Vegas Nighthawks? You know, a lot of things are being straightened out with that team. You know, hopefully they get some good guys signed and, you know, they get the promotions and stuff right. But this was a start. This was a good start for this team. Well, there was somebody that commented on the Louisville Extreme video from a couple weeks ago. They commented on it, on it just recently. In fact, it was only like an hour ago. Um, well, here, here's some more news on Louisville that we know now that the case against Victor Cole and the Louisville Extreme, that case has been dismissed. It has been dropped um, due to a lack of jurisdiction from what I have seen. From from what I've got here um, on my phone here, um, that's what I got. And who knows what this means. Again, Louisville didn't have the money anyway to really even... They weren't supposed to be in the IFL and they weren't supposed to be in the NAL. But 
Um, could it be? Could it be a Louisville revival? Um, of course, you have to go find. You have to go look through court documents and stuff like that. But somebody was lucky enough to put it in the Discord. Um, so good for them. Good for them to get that out there because we wouldn't even know. We would not have known. You know, had nobody talked about it. Um, but yeah. Speaking of teams, I'm still thinking that Cedar Rapids is not coming back, so there's been really nothing said about them. So before, again, like I said last week, I think the IFL will stand at at 16 teams. It could drop to less than that because of you know financial troubles and the other rumors of the CIF. We'll talk about the CIF for just a second here. Let me let me go let me go find that stuff real quick. So the Colorado indoor football team, whatever they're going to be called, has narrowed it down to 12 team names um, for their voting, which begins on Monday the 30th. So, you know, go ahead and go, go vote because they dropped that from 24. They eliminated 12, and they have a dirty dozen for, you know, naming the team. So I wonder how that's going to go. I wonder what the team name is going to be because a lot of a lot of people have been joking it will be the Rocky Mountain Oysters and I hope it's not it's also the Colorado Cannibals and I don't know why that's there um, Cannibals indoor football combination that doesn't make any sense alright alright well whatever man whatever okay whatever you know you know what I mean once again, a reminder that the AWFC has a Monday night football playoff game between the Idaho Horsemen and the expansion Oregon High Desert Storm. That is a Monday game. I believe the championship will be on September the 4th, if I'm not mistaken. So that will be a Saturday. Um, that's not a good really. That's not really a good time for indoor football to be having championships because guess what's on Saturday? And I'll talk about that on Monday technically. Um, but we have some other things as well. You know the um, the West Coast Arena Football or whatever they're called, the WCAF, whatever they're called. They 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 look like a scam. They've been a scam. They've been touting themselves for a little bit now, but they're still a scam. It's still a scam right now. They don't even have a good website. And uh, I don't even know. There's also the Global Arena League, also a scam right now. They're just putting out, you know, like Canadian team flags and stuff right now. I, I don't I don't know what I don't know what's going on with that league either. It's not it's not a thing. I mean I mean these are scam dissect dissect ugh dis deceptive leagues that just want to take money you know similar to the national gridiron um, league and you know they want to take their money and i don't know how they have a exhibition game the wcaf has it's not going to happen no not on september the 18th gotta stop that stop it but there are some teams that are coming back like the vermont brew yeah they're coming back i don't know what league they're going to be in but they're coming back there's also a UAL team, a United, it is, yeah, it's the United Arena League, not the Universal, because remember, there is also a Universal Arena League, and of course, you know, the United Arena League, so the Atlanta Furious, they will be the fourth team in the UAL, the UAL that actually exists, not the UAL that hasn't played yet, or probably doesn't exist, uh... Probably going to be in a soccer plex or something like that. Uh, speaking of, you know, how the UAL has done their things, I've seen, you know, a little bit of Peach State's arena, and it looked horrid, and it was just not up to par. And it looked awful, and I don't know why. I don't know why I subjected myself to that for two minutes because the stream was bad, and I believe it was the UAL championship game that I was looking at. That was a little, that was a while back, so don't even let's not even worry about it. But yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, we'll come back next week. Hopefully, you know, some more stuff drops, and the season finale of this week in indoor football will be on September the twelfth. So, um, and I will see you all probably September the fifth. Probably the September the fifth. That will be the day. 
and you will get to see me once again talk about another week of indoor football because there's probably going to be some more stuff that circulates and comes out over this week and next week and the week after who knows who knows what the next couple weeks are going to be looking like and it, you know after the season finale on September the 12th if there's some more indoor stuff that comes out I'll be sure to talk about it um, but yeah that, that's the plan so um, hopefully just com just comment on the latest videos of this weekend in North football please hopefully because I mean I'm tired of seeing comments from, from posts like three months ago like Louisville technically folded three months ago why are we still talking why are we still you know even going back to old videos like that please come to the new ones the new ones deserve the attention because that's what because it's this week we're talking about things for this week why are you going back to old videos <laughs> but yeah that'll do it everybody y'all take care have a good night you know have a great week as well and i'll see you all on monday because we got a lot of college football to talk about baby I'll see you in. Take care.